the Logitech G29 is one of the cheapest force feedback wheels available for PlayStation 4 that works with Gran Turismo 7. How fast can you be with a budget racing setup? My G29 is clamped to a, an office desk and we're going to see how fast that can be. Can I get into the top 10 in the world? And we try, we get close and it's very frustrating, but can I do it? What's up guys, I'm Chris Doughty, aka Daltonator. In this video, I'm going to give myself one hour to see if I can get into the top 10 in the world rankings for the circuit experience for Red Bull Ring in the Red Bull Junior car. I'm going to go ahead and set up my ghost, my offset and all the stuff like I would normally do as I've explained in other videos on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed, go and check those out in the future. But the most ironic thing is the guy above me on the leaderboard in my friends list is the guy I bought my Logitech G29 off second hand. Can I A, beat the original owner of the wheel and B, sneak into the top 10 in the world using a budget racing wheel. Now, anyone that's done a bit of time trial on Gran Turismo 7 will know the frustration of trying to get every last bit of performance out of the car and the track. Now, when you do the circuit experience, you cannot load a previous ghost. So it took me a little while to get a good ghost. So I set a, a benchmark time for 131.99. That is my ghost. That is the one I'm now following and I'm still getting error after error. Uh, I think I'm going to change the ghost signal. I'm just going to make the ghost a little bit closer to me to give me that reference following my personal best ghost and hopefully trying to improve on it each corner by corner. Now at this point in the challenge, I start to ask myself questions as to why I'm actually doing this. I'm already four seconds under the gold time. I'm gaining nothing at all credits wise in game to, to keep putting myself through this over and over again. Fail, try again, fail, try again. What, why am I even doing this? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Are you the kind of person that's just happy to grab a gold and, and run for it? Or are you a little bit like me where if I find this time available and I've still not maximised my potential, I'm not happy to go to sleep. I'm not happy to quit. I just want to maximise that potential and get the optimum lap time. And right now we are on a pretty good lap. We've got through turn one pretty good into the big breaking zone for turn, I think we call it turn three at Red Bull Ring and we get a great exit early on the power. Uh, this car actually doesn't have too much power so you can be quite aggressive and early on throttle. The way the car drives on the brakes is a little bit weird. Further on in the video, you'll see I start to bring the brake balance a little bit further rearwards to get that car rotation. But right now, we could be in with a shout of beating our personal best and improving our personal best ghost. And we're getting closer to that uh, 131.6 as we go through this. These two left-handers are incredibly difficult. And we get a good run through there, which is quite nice. Uh, through the second of the two, again, closing nicely, just fractionally missing the apex. But we get a good drive out of there. So far, so good. The final double right-hander is absolutely savage for track limits, especially and the final right-hander is a bit of an oversteer monster. So we just brush the inside there. We just stay in track limits. That's awesome. Fat through the final corner, get a little bit of a slide, slight correction. And we are, I think, up on the ghost, running to the line now, keeping it flat. Where were we going to go with this lap time? Uh, 0 0.001 off of my, away from my best lap. So, well, we'll try again. But now, as you can see, I'm up on my ghost by quite a long way. That's at least 0.3 ahead so it's all good we just need to go through these final two corners and we, we wide on our oh, track limits and red bull they were like it in the f1 track limits left right and center and it's exactly the same in gran turismo 7 but we go again getting a bit more familiar with the track finding the limits finding the secret time that's in there through turn one clip and we have got a great exit there my advice for turn one, if you're gonna smash over the curb on the inside, get off the throttle when your car hits the curb and then get back on the throttle again. If you're on throttle as you ride the curb, the nose will lift up and it gets all sorts of out of shape. Uh, braking for here at the 100 board and then just rotating the car into the apex and we are on a very, very good lap right now. Great corner exit, not quite as good as the ghost perhaps, but we are closer than we've ever been before. On the run down into turn four, this is a downhill braking zone and extends the braking zone a little bit and we want to get it tight to the apex and just about get that done on the throttle reasonably early 
we are the closest we've ever been to beating this ghost right now can we get these double left completed as we need to we are a little wide on turn one there uh, but we've not lost too much time uh, need to make a good job of the second part of this turn we get a really tight on throttle early and a great drive out of that left hander two corners to go and we are significantly up on our ghost which should be a huge chunk off of our work up of our best time so far a little bit wide through turn one just about keeping in track limits through the final corner and get on throttle as early as going got a great drive to the line what is this going to be significantly up on the ghost and we're going to complete that lap in 131.633 sarah's given us the big ups there thank you sarah that was a big effort we'd now go top of our friends list, but are we in the top 10 at 10th place we sneak into 10th place in the world with the budget racing logitech g29 wheel now normal people would probably end there they've completed it but i can't there's time left on the table so i just try again 131.6 ah, oh, there's time available surely i'm up on the ghost and that's a track track limits track limits absolutely firing it off no sarah leave me alone i know what i'm doing i just can't help it it is some kind of addiction to knowing i've got more potential pace in there a lower lap time is available i can't just stop myself so i'm following my ghost now that ghost ahead is my uh, current best ghost that's a 131.633 i've now switched a brake balance all the way to the rear five to the rear i've got a video on my channel that tells you all about brake balance tuning and how you can get uh, extra performance out of it for this car specifically i want to get that car to be over rotating on corner entry i think that's the fastest ray around you can see the car wants to rotate through that hairpin there quite nicely and although we've not really closed in on the ghost that much we've not been dropped either so i think i'm in with a shout of an improvement on this lap it's feeling pretty good so far into the downhill braking zone uh, get on the brakes reasonably early i want to hit that apex and we, oh, we hook up really nicely there look at that look at the amount of gained on the ghost that is a chunk of time we've gained right there just because of that over rotation on corner entry into the difficult double left we've got a massive amount of over rotation that really hooks us onto the back of the ghost now and i think we're on here guys into the oh we're just wide there wide and we are a little bit slow on throttle and the ghost is just creeping away which is so frustrating i can finish out this lap though let's see how we're going to look at how much time i've lost with the ghost this is oh that's 0 0.2 0 0.3 easily through the final couple of corners uh, we get a nice slide through the final corner keep it all hooked up there run into the line oh, what's this going to be i'm not really sure that's going to be a it's going to be an improvement oh, thanks sarah um good job i didn't give up wasn't it uh, so i've improved by next to nothing where has that put me on the leaderboard let's check out so i've moved up to eighth in the world and as you can see from the video just then i lost a chunk of time on the exit of the second left hander so it leaves me with a question do i go back and chase for more can i get in the top five can i get top three can i get a world record lap time on this circuit experience let me know in the comments below would you like to see me push this one even further if you use a logitech g29 yourself then make sure you let me know in the comments below right g29 master race let's see how many g29 users are out there i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button consider subscribing if you haven't already thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one